My name is Silas Henriksen, and I am retiring soon. I'm 38 years old, and I'm a principal dancer with the Norwegian National Ballet. The day I turn 41, my contract ends, and my life as a pensioner awaits me. It feels like someone is cutting off my power to leave me left in the dark. A big darkness. My first memory on stage. I was six years old and I had just started my dance training at the local ballet school. I was mesmerized by the indefinite space of the theater a dark universe. A place unlike anything I had seen before. That's why I chose to become a performer, to live my life on stage in the duality between darkness and light. When I see someone move, it moves me. To me, moving is the definition of being. Dance is really all about those in-between moments, the connections that take you from one place to another. <laughs> Moving you forward, creating energy, making a lifeline. A dancer dies twice, said the legendary dance pioneer Martha Graham. To leave the life that I know as a dancer is probably one of the biggest transitions in my life so far. My body has always been used to pushing the boundaries for what is physically possible. It's been a thrill and a joy and a journey that I would choose to relive any day. Now, it's soon ending. From the very moment we start our professional dance careers, we are told on a daily basis that the life of a dancer is short. Dance like there's no tomorrow. One day this door is closed. I've seen dancers retiring over the years, and I always envied them the freedom and the new life that was waiting for them. To be honest, I've been looking forward for this day to come. Now, when it's soon here, I think differently. I'm afraid now. My body is my archive where my life on stage is stored. The day I disappear from dance, I will take my archive with me. Every time I leave the stage, there is nothing left behind. Only memories. My body will start to decay. I will change. As a dancer, you're always told to reach further. When can you not possibly reach any further? <sighs> when do you decide to stop moving? It's audition day at work. Swedish world star choreographer Mats Ek is at the opera to cast a ballet.
I know what that means. Hours in the studio where my body is being shredded to pieces. Mats Ek has undergone two hip replacements himself. The titanium in his body speaks for itself. I don't want to do the audition. I don't want to fight for the parts. At the same time, I'm scared of not being considered. I want to be judged. I want to be seen. I want to be cast. I'm terrified of no longer being a part of the game. The day I don't need to prove myself, I'm dead. I'm nervous every day at work. And it keeps me alive. Out of curiosity, I Google Mats to find out how old he is. Mats is 78 years old. We are both born on the 18th of April. There is exactly 40 years between us. I get inspired. Mats is still moving. I watched the David Beckham documentary on Netflix and it makes me cry. For the first time in history, football is making me cry. And when Beckham scores, just in the right moment, in front of millions of people watching, I cry because I know the struggle. I know what it costs and I know something about the commitment that it takes. I know something about those special moments when it's all worth it. Those moments that makes you feel like a superhuman. Those moments that make you feel like nothing else in life can compare to just that moment, just that high. That's why it's so hard to give it up. That's why it's so hard to let it go. I'm addicted to the adrenaline, and the stage is my escape. <laughs> but who am I fooling? I don't even want to perform anymore. I think I'm done. I don't have the ambitions any longer or the willpower that it takes. I don't want to be seen. When I was younger, I really felt the need for my body to take a place, to capture a space that mattered. Now, I don't want to be out there anymore. I really understand rock stars who become ceramicists spending their retired life making mediocre pottery. I do. David Beckham is now a beekeeper. Maybe I should do that too. In the documentary, he's reliving all the ups and downs of his career. I can see the sentiment in his eyes looking back at all those great highlights but I also see a sense of joy and release that this chapter of his life is over. All those years with dedication and renunciation, the hardships, the fatigue, the exhaustion, the pain that keeps you awake at night, forcing you to sleep with a pillow between your legs to alleviate the pain from your damaged hips, the pain that sometimes make you question if you have the capacity to walk up the staircase. And then there's the head filled with worry and stress. 
I have something to prove every time I walk on that stage. The cliches are true. I am nothing but my last performance. A choreographer told me once, Silas, I see you in the dark. Is my light disappearing? Life on stage, moments where I never think of death because I'm not myself. It's like a deep sleep, a dream. I don't care if I dance at Lincoln Center in New York or in Lillestrøm in Norway. I live for the darkness and I live for the light. The stage makes me present. It's mindfulness at its very best. I've been moving through spaces. I have felt the light and inhaled the dust. My emotions have run high and I've been filled with adrenaline. I've lost myself on occasions, but most of the time I've been present. Present to project into the dark. <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> Filling every corner. <laughs> I am a three-dimensional radiant light. I'm projecting like a laser gun. My cells are filled with light, color, energy. All I ever wanted was the freedom to become something else, to transcend into a moment that will be gone forever. Transcend and be gone forever. The death of a dancer. Maybe it's not that dramatic after all. You look ahead and you're afraid, but then you're actually experiencing it. And there is no pain. You're so frightened that it's going to be painful when you die. but then you're going through it and it's actually blissful. And you realize it's out of your hands. Is my light disappearing? I can be in the dark for a while. I'm sure my light will lead the way.